it was a very dark time for me. And one that took a long time for me to, to get over. When people look at me today and they see a strong, capable person able to handle health and safety, having spent years with a very productive and well-established investigative and special missions service, and someone able to run the DS-106 boot camp and get all those newbie recruits in line, they don't realize that it was a terrible thing that happened to me. The pain, the years of anguish that happened as a result, the meanness, the tears, all the nightmares of stairs, and, and the death of my acting career. I tried to resurrect it by trying out for movies, and I kept finding that I wasn't what people wanted. They said I was too short, or that they thought I was too creepy. I managed to get a work in a Kubrick film, but somehow it just wasn't what I was expecting. And then, I ran into DS-106. I heard my name one day, and the next thing I knew, I was part of DS-106 with my own blog. I turned myself into a yam, Tina, and I reminded myself of when I used to act for Mary Obama. I got on the DS-106 hippie syndication bus with Jim Groom and Dr. Oblivion, and, and I learned how to make gifts. You ain't my father, Bob. My life started to change. The DS-106 zone brought new meaning to my previous experiences. And before I knew it, I'd made a whole bunch of true friends. And they weren't just true friends, they were true friends with badges. I traveled and met my super true friend, Christina, and Dr. Jones 106, and even my new old radio friend, Scott Lowe. I traveled all the way down to Virginia to meet Uncle Jim Groom at his own house. Things were looking up for me. Finally, stairs were no longer a thing of fear. I dove into the Noir 106 and reminded of how I used to do commercials for Kenny's carpets, caskets, and cars. I went to the Oscars with Ellen and Meryl Streep, and I celebrated a beautifully wonderful New Year's 2015. All along, I've had wonderful, happy experiences making art, and making Jim Groom art has got to be one of the most fun things about DS-106. My favorite piece of all time is the Jim Groom oyster hat with Mini Pearl. Now you can follow me, I am Taki Tina, on Twitter. And you can follow me, I am Taki Tina, on YouTube. And you can follow me, I am Taki Tina, on Flickr. Life is just grand.